What's going on everybody? This is Frog. So today we're doing the Trickster Gondola deck. Uh, the Trickster is going to decrease in price, really powerful card, decrease in price every time you play a trick. Uh, the Gondola is going to create a new zombie every time it hits face and then actually move to another lane and perhaps make another zombie. Uh, the reason we're putting both these together is because they both work very well with Mustache Monument. I really want to either teleport Mustache Monument uh, and then play um, Gondola on it the next turn and then I'll automatically make a minion and also move so it's a lot of value that way. Uh, sometimes you can get insane really big cards. Uh, Trickster also does two immediate bonus attacks for 12 damage if it's placed on the um, Mustache Monument. So what we got to do is uh, defend and control our opponent. Uh, we're going to be doing that by chump locking with Beam Me Up. Uh, bouncing things off with the Backyard Bounce. Uh, Imp Throwing Imp uh, seems to be a really good control card, especially if they play like a Forget Me Nuts or... Uh, click P or something like that on turn one, you just stick this in front of it, and it really just uh, ends up clogging a lot of lanes, which is very, very good. We're running space times. So you can play this dry on turn two, and they sort of have to deal with it, or else you're going to be uh, getting an advantage. Uh, conjuring cards, a card that's both good with space time and trickster is going to be the thinking cap. Uh, you don't really want to play this on turn four, because you can't really even play the powers that turn, but if you, if they don't do enough, and you can play this on turn six and play both powers then it's fine also if you have a space time on the field you can play the thinking cap it'll conjure two superpowers but then they'll cost zero so you can play them immediately uh that turn so that's the synergy right there i didn't want to run four mustache monuments so they break so i took out one and put in one um barrel of barrels just be able to uh charge your trickster it is a trick uh it does conjure something for the space time we do have a lot of minions in the stack that work well with Barrel of Barrels like Space Time, it has, again, low attack but a lot of health, so making it deadly will kill things. Same thing with Imp Throwing Imp and the Teleportation Zombie. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let's get right into the game. We're streaming this on June 17th, 2022. HG actually just randomly appeared in the shop today, so... Probably have about 24 hours to get your hands on that. Uh, we'll do bets. Normal bets. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2, vote yes. Seven and three or less wins. Fewer wins. Vote no. Voting starts right now over here on the live screen and always twitch.tv forward slash fry him up. We're going to be keeping Trickster. Keeping Trickster and Gondola is probably a really bad idea because they're both cards that are not playable for a bunch of turns. So uh, this should be fine. The thinking cap again. You got to be... Even if we don't get a space time, this will be viable eventually. That's cool. I'm going to put the teleportation station since we're just going to plop an imp throwing up here. want to really draw as many teleports as possible. It's a nice activator for a lot of cards like imp throwing imp and the, even the gondola you got to teleport. You know, teleporting it in makes it hit face. Oh, looks like I don't have the right deck list with the barrel of barrels. The, uh, the switcheroo. Okay, that's really annoying. That's rare to craft for budget aggro solar flare, so um, that would be. I think we're just gonna play space time here. It does four damage. I don't know why he's playing around there. Uh, the best superpower, the best rare would be uh, Eldegrain. We will. So we get a free teleport here, which is cool. Yeah, we'll go for the thinking cap. We can also just go for bounce. I guess if he somehow, if he like plant foods us, then we'll just bounce him. Bruh. So here's the thinking cap. Let's look at our trickster going. Uh, the strength could be good here. Just to remove this from the equation. I think we'll do it. What about playing Rust Bolt Super first? You know what? I'm gonna put this here. Just so we don't actually have to use back of bounce and use it on something bigger like a Gatling P coming up. Here's our trickster, that's why I did that first. And we're good to go. I'll get the free teleport. Worst legendary in the game, I don't know. Maybe you want to be here. And it's way too expensive. For a lot it does. Space time. Huh? 
Space time and either bounce or teleport in throwing him from Smith. So we'll bounce this. The man is asleep. Let's go. Um, so I'm guessing it's gonna be teleport trickster to kill that starfruit. He's just gonna replay that. Yeah, we'll see if he has brain in on it. Let's uh not going for the starfruit. Feels like it's too easy to remove from passing. So it's gonna be teleport. Let's see what we get. I think we're just gonna go freeze. Can actually burn this one. This costs five, right? So we'll burn this one. We're just getting our tricksters set up for lethal here. Oh, we can't even play the gondola too bad. So we are gonna freeze this one. And develop a trickster. So this is a nice 12 damage here. Blocks. HG Super, we take those. Trapper. Oh. I'll, I'll still play defensively here. We could just play teleportation zombie too. We can get doubled. We can actually like teleport in. You know, we can teleport both of these in. <laughs> so funny. I guess, yeah. We'll, we'll play around some kind of plant food play. Like grow plant food. When I'm doing all this damage. He's going for Planet of the Grape Starfruit. That's cute. Um, so the fun play is Gondola. This Gondola costs five. We can always mush, mustache Trickster like next turn. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna go. Let's see here. An imp landing. Well, I'm gonna go Gondola here, and then I'm gonna go Trapper. I'd like this to end up here. So Gondola makes a guy. Well, yeah, we don't. We'll just mustache Trickster next turn. There's not a lot he's gonna be able to do about that. We can grow something, which is cool. So I guess the teleportation zombie doesn't really matter. All right. So this dies for free. It's cool that we have the teleportation zombie because and so many teleports. We can just do this trickster play and then still do more things. Um, his super does not actually help. It would have to be blow. Didn't he use blow already? He rolled a one. That was pretty damn easy. Guy actually got off to a really good start, but well, didn't have like the finishers, the plant foods, and the gatling things to capitalize on his tempo. So I could have ended up pretty scary, not gonna lie. Again, we'll keep a trickster. Other than that, let's just look for more early game. I don't think we need the teleportation zombie with two BMMs. Oh, that's pretty cool. Please no forget me nuts. That would be really sad. This is definitely good enough. We can actually kill a Triceratops this turn with double beam me up. Which is pretty awesome. It's got Nebula. 
Not a real way to ramp up in this deck. I guess, like, for Mustache Gondola, Nebula might be able to, you know, to get to 9. I don't know. Okay. So I'm just gonna spend the expensive beam me up to control this. I don't want to take too much damage. And uh, we're, we're right where we want to be. Typically in like Professor Brainstorm, you want to start spamming beam me ups to proc the block. Maybe we'll, we'll probably actually won't do that now. If one of them will die somewhere, maybe we'll spam the nebula there. Um, Alright, because we don't have anything to control the opponent with next turn, we're gonna go for like this. A teleportation zombie would be nice because that means we can teleport in this turn 5 gondola. We're doing fine, we have an insanely good hand here. Uh, I'm just thinking about the lanes now, like the... I guess the gondola is just going to be played in the water, expense an amphibious minion. I don't really even have to play this beam me up. Should I spam this environment? We need a leap! We need a leap! Is there any reason the gondola should go into the environment so I can actually play a beam me up? Maybe if I get a telep uh, teleportation zombie. I'll play it into the environment and try to teleport in a gondola here. That would be awesome. I I'm pretty sure this... well... This is tough. I guess this just goes in the water. Harder to block. He's, he seems to be wrong anyway. I guess we'll back air bounce that, which is fine. We're doing okay. Well, back here I bounce this one that he thinks is making a good trade. And I guess we'll play Beam Me Up. Pretty good. Our Tricksters are going to be active really soon. Really just want this to hit one time. Get that momentum. Cool. So do you get double the fries you bet? The way the bet works is that all the fries that are bet from the losing side get distributed evenly to the winning side. So there ends up being a sort of curve, like, you know, if a lot of people vote yes, the payout for voting yes becomes less. But on the other hand, it's probably more likely yes if a lot of people voted for that. Same thing right now. All right, so it's going to be... Um, we can actually play all three of these, which is very good here. So beam me up. This is what he got from genetic amplification. It's so sad. What a sad card. Indeed. And we'll bounce you. So Gondola's gonna hit face for five and make a gust. We'll just spam a trickster here. We'll have all, all the lanes clogged essentially. That goes in the middle. Stupid. Um. So this one costs three, I think? It's so hard to see. Is it five or three? It should be five, right? I actually can't see because I'm freaking colorblind. It's a three. It's a three, guys. I mean, I, I guess I'll just spend the cheap one here. And play this one. <laughs> <laughs> the green and the pink, so hard for me to see. Bro. Okay. We have a deadly, I don't know, in case he upgrades a big minion. That doesn't really matter. Bro. I'm just gonna spam this, because we just want to play a trick. So the two minions surviving are these two, and the one that probably will need it is the beam me up, so... That's a really cool... <laughs> battle cruiser. It means we'll win some trades here, which is what we want. 
It also doesn't take damage from Spike Weed Sector, so that's really cool. I guess I'll battle Cruiser first and then Trickster, like, for the win. Let's see what else we get here. Uh, Imp Throwing Imp is really good. So we're going b Battle Cruiser, Imp Throwing Imp, which clogs lanes, puts extra, you know, extra chip on the field. We're probably, the opponent's probably blocking one extra time, and then we'll just Trickster for the win. Uh, when- oh wow, that's cool. We are protected! <laughs> really sad play for him. Um, again- oh, this doesn't have- well, actually, it wouldn't have even taken damage from the spike meter, I forgot. Yeah, this. In fact, two damage in the water could just win. Oh no, it doesn't even take damage from the dragon. <laughs> sort of a fail? I guess we play this dry, and it's a nice f fifth minion to play here. He has to block everything, so okay. the imp will throw backwards. We'll see what happens here. I guess it's just Gondola hitting. Uh, imp throwing imp does throw two imps here. Trickster dies for free. Maybe the Gondola will roll one. This dragon actually really hurts. Can't use the teleport. Nope. Mustache Monument would be a hell of a top deck here. If he doesn't clog this lane, he might actually go for it. I'll probably just play the Trickster and, yeah. I gotta just kill the dragon. It's so sad. This, hopefully this Gondola, he hopefully doesn't have any more amphibious minions here. But it's always Trickster. Let's see what happens. Someone just sub, sorry, I'm kind of spaced out. Eric just gifted one of the cute Bendy. Okay, so he's healing. No Shamrocket. No Shamrocket, yes. So that just doesn't do enough. Um, do we burn a teleport? Just gotta get a plank walker and we'll be good to go. What do we actually want to get here? Does anything help us immediately this turn? Not really. Will we play him throwing him if we got it? Space time? Not really. I think I'm just gonna save the teleports. They're gonna be really useful later. We don't really. We're probably not gonna be able to spend a lot of time this turn anyway. Alright, so this gondola is sort of like our last hope here of winning this game. The guy does have a lot of momentum. We get something good. Okay, so we get gondola from gondola. It has to be an amphibious minion, by the way, if it's in the water. It's just the way it goes. Um, how do we do this? It's so cool. So it's gonna be... I'm gonna play you. We're gonna... We're gonna start spending... Oh, I forgot. Okay, we can just teleport Trickster. This thing costs 10. We'll probably end up doing it here. And taking the damage. Unless we have to block. That's 10. Teleport. This has to damage the plant heroes. It's not even making a guy anymore. <laughs> Soul patch, so annoying. Um, I guess it's just trickster. I'm throwing imp is cool, but five and four doesn't even kill this guy. Ugh, <laughs> we're not in good shape, boys. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, the sort of trades with this next turn. This gondola just stays in the water. Yeet! Wish that did more damage. One off. Uh, we'll go with you. And we'll... Teleport. Something. Okay. Is this gonna come down to card advantage? I think, like, Thinking Cap is one of the better things we could get here. That's a lot. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna go for... 
We're bouncing this one. We'll let the trickster die and then make another minion. Just for tempo, this is the way. Um, so let's teleport again. See if we get a guy. This is good. This also, like... We want the imp to actually be thrown here so it doesn't die in the spike weight sector. So this is good. I think getting the guy bouncing that into it, I definitely don't want to bounce Soul Badge yet, because then he replays it. You're cool. You survive. We always get an imp here. It always has at least one attack. Yes! That's cool. Uh, don't just, don't roll double threes. If he rolls double threes, I'm the striker, oh my gosh. And we got Fishy Amp, good enough. <laughs> uh, top deck, we have some overshoot, and we also have some bounce. Love it. So we're hitting him twice, potentially three times here. It's cool we have an answer to place another, oh gosh, we don't have an answer to that, though. Place another gondola, we would have. He's healing and just soul patching. This is like the worst thing to face. Oh my gosh. Okay, here comes the Brainanas now. Brainana, Dragon, Soul Patch, Pop and Poppies. This is rough. I actually rolled a 1, so if he hadn't healed, we would have won there. What is the chances of us winning this game? It's almost nothing. Like, what do we... Oh, maybe some miracle thinking cap would get it done? I don't even know at this point. We have to block damage. Uh, but bouncing any of these is going to be really sad. So we'll bounce, I don't know, that paracup will play that again. Oh my gosh, I guess we'll bounce the dragon. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> GG. Oh, okay, bye dragon. But we need to block and then get our, our, our guy. Yeah, it doesn't help. Alright. I don't feel bad losing to that at all. We just got... We just got really hard countered. Maybe we need more deadly to deal with soul patch. Not really. Here comes the brain on it. Thank you, Juan Tech, for 24 months. Heck yeah. By the way, explanation of my color blindness. It's it's the one that starts with a D. Deut Deuteronomy. Uh, it's between red and green, and then some. They have to be like a similar shade. So like Uno cards that are very similar, kind of like neon. I get I it, like I get them mixed up a little bit, um, but like the hot pink of the of the brain, and then the very hot neon red. Uh, uh sorry, the hot pink. There's like red, and then the hot neon green of like the numbers inside when a trickster's cost is reduced. Um, that's kind of what gets me. It's pretty good hands. We'll keep the environment in case it's cycle cat. Guys, don't panic from that game. We got really a healing and soul patch and dragon and brainana. I mean, it couldn't have really been that much of a harder and forget me nuts. Hard to find a harder counter to this deck than that, so. Do not worry about it. Uh, the teleportation sound is fine. It allows us to pass next turn and get the play environment, maybe control them to ring up. So, we take those. How is it to be colorblind? It makes very little difference in my life. Again, it's not like I'm seeing the world in black and white. I just mix up. My gosh, she just gets poppin' poppies from seedling, okay? Alright, this is going well so far. At least it wasn't Brianna. <laughs> what? Guess what turn it is, guys. Time to play Guess What Turn It Is. Sponsored by your mom. He bounces that. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Now I can farm teleports. I guess I'll... I don't know. I guess I'll teleport this one. Okay, he's going with electric for you guys. I'll just go here. Thank you for all the free games. Really appreciate it. That's cool. It dies next turn, but it's three damage. Oh, I think it's gonna be teleportation zombie space time. 
into the thinking cap next turn. Then we'll set up teleport goggle well then just something. Very blast that one. It does absorb the whole very blast, it's fine. Face time just here. <laughs> Look at the lightning read. Getting it done. He play dry snowdrop. He's setting up for I don't even know what. Uh, this Quasar, we're actually playing three superpowers this turn, which is quite epic indeed. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so we're playing Teleportation Zombie. This is... <laughs> it's gonna have been any better. Uh, we'll play this first, because the superpowers go zero anyway. Um, all right, here we go. What the? Wait, what did he just do? He played Wildberry. Okay. I forgot to pay attention. la di da di da Guys, watch this play now. Oh, that's cool. All right. We will give him... Um, what are we hitting him with here? <sighs> this guy should have played that first in case we get a trickster. Running ahead of time. And like that. We actually got chimney sweep on heights, heck yeah. We definitely take those. And we're getting free teleports. Uh yep. Good. Look good to me. Nice buff for our dude. So our gondola. I guess we can teleport it in. Should I play the one cost teleportation zombie? Well, the gondola can't really go face anyway. Are we just playing Trickster here? We'll probably just play Trickster. <laughs> I probably should have played the, the two coster, right? Maybe we'll just play like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. We have the option of like back our bounce and teleport in the mustache monument to proc the block. Alright, it's time to start having fun. Bye bye. We're just gonna play gondola. And hit his face next turn. So the, the mustache monument again. Now we're playing it early, so we don't have to spend the brains on it next turn. We'll be able to do more. Plus, it propped the block. Oh, I guess Swabby would have propped the block anyway. Okay. That just dies for free in the environment, but it's alright. More free teleports. Now, we could win with Trickster, but come on, guys. <laughs> what fun would that be? That wouldn't be fun at all. Literally zero fun. Gotta get the gondola going. That's very cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, we can actually free teleport and get an 8 attack Trickster here. That will be awesome. Yep. Teleport Trickster. The 8 attack frenzied Trickster. I really hope he blocks that lane. That would be cool. He covers that environment. Okay. He's seeing what he gets. God damn it. <laughs> I don't feel bad about this at all. We <laughs> Eight damage! The 8-9 frenzy. Pretty sure we take it. Let's go. That was a guy who got seedling popping poppies on turn two, just saying. 
Just saying. Same here. We just played against a hacker that can actually get cut out of the video. My editor reads my notes. Alright. That is cool. Is there a reason to teleport in the imp throwing it? We sort of do need an extra card anyway, so let's do it. And then there's a small chance that I'll make a better trade somewhere. Cool, Leafy. The Leafy synergy. Uh, it's nice that he can't play his um, Savage Spinach on the 2 one. Though. Can we get like a Toxic Waste imp here? <laughs> Hallelujah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this happens a little too often. You gotta jinx it, guys. It's really important. So we'll either back our bounce or just thinking cap. Depends how big of a threat he puts on the field. Could be Rex, but get back our bounce. I pass. It's just, it's just happening. So that's really cool setup for next turn. Z Max Super, love to see it. Uh, alright. He passes, I'll just play another thing and get. I don't care. I'm untrickable! That was beautiful. Goodbye. FM being beautiful. We have two tricksters in hand and no mustache monuments, so we'll just think in capital. Play some cards. It essentially... It, the backyard bounce essentially just destroys... That's so annoying. I mean, it's actually really easy to deal with. So we don't think he It just destroys the plant food that he played. Or the fertilizer, I mean. This is, a, again, another reason. That's just because of Gargantuars and big cards not being good and potted powerhouses. So that's like... All the buff cards, all the cards that buff a single minion, like, like Vitamin Z and, and Fertilize, do just absolutely nothing. Because they, the removal is so cheap. It's just waste the card. It's like a 2 for 1. Okay. Wanting me an imp for no reason. That's beautiful. He's hoping it'll be like 1 health. And toxic. Nice. Rage! I think I'm gonna go like this. Like this. <laughs> Just charging the tricksters. We have a lot of damage. And then we'll give him this. Picking the teleports. Card. So we can actually like five and still play cards here. That's a nice neat twelve damage.
I feel like that's just gonna die to Z-Max Super here. Look, we have the bat card. I love the bat. He's so cute. Okay. Okay. Oh, we going for it! Wow. Without us having teleport, we can actually win here. I think it's just beam me up. The trickster always wins. Die! Yeah, it's kind of guaranteed. None of his superpowers prevent a dry trickster. That's if he rolls a three. It was deadly! It was deadly! I didn't realize that it was deadly! I didn't- I'm sure the chat saw that. I, we finally did it! We were gonna base the deck on trying to get Toxic Waste in and ZMEX Super. ZMEX Super is an imp superpower, so it's deadly. I've actually never- I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I've ever seen ZMEX Super played with a Toxic Waste imp on the field, because it's impossible. It's like- You'd have to be running Toxic Waste Imp and then use Thinking Caps to randomly get a Z-Max Super. We, I literally have this written down in my in my, in my my deck list of just a meme deck. Eight huge Giganticus just trying to conjure as many superpowers as possible with Toxic Waste Imp or something. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, we did it. We got him. <laughs> it killed the one, well, the three damage, but even the one damage splash would actually kill everything on the field, so that would be cooler, too. Oh, that was so epic. <laughs> did someone in the chat, um, say that? I don't think it, did anyone see it? I'm looking back. Toxic Imp, someone's there, I'll see. I don't think anyone saw- oh no, yeah, Truly Mango got it. Deadly z sig. <laughs> Toxic bot? Not sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Game. Yes. Here we go. And we're three and one. Oh wait, going in the highlight comp. We're gonna make a meme deck based around that combo. Maybe we'll try to put other things in it that also work. Maybe we'll just be like tell imps with thinking cap. You see, you can't even run toxic waste in thinking cap and quasar at all. In the same <laughs> but anyway, all right. Ditch the guns. A little bit can draw into that later. I don't think we need him throwing. If it was a guardian hero, it would be different. Oh, should we keep this? Is this crazy? Let's just look for a second trick. Alright, I think we're keeping double tricks here. Rose, again, there there might there are some aggro rose decks, but not, not a lot. So we don't really need to... We need to prioritize getting enough damage in. Uh, and charging our tricksters. Not like controlling a haunted pumpkin on one sometimes, but... It's usually not the hero you run for a haunted pumpkin. Rose doesn't have very good aggressive, like, three drops. Which are very important in an aggro deck to keep that momentum going. So it's gonna be pass, pass, pass. The, the Brainanas and the Dragons are gonna sting. Quite lightly. We'll probably just dry thinking cap here. We could back here bounce. I'd rather get the superpowers. Have a little bit more play versatility. Um, I'm probably going to... Let's see here. Maybe I'll play you and then I'll bounce this. And we can either go for Gondola next turn or, or some combination of superpowers. It'd be nice to start farming some teleports though. It'd be really nice. We can always do that next turn. What do you mean, Rosa's Venus Flytrap on turn 3? Best aggro card. So, if this gets destroyed, which it probably will, uh, it means we're playing Summoning and maybe Backyard Bounce. Woo! 
Never mind. We just go and dry Gondola in one. This will definitely hit two times and make two minions. I love the empty block meter how this deck it doesn't hit face a lot. So it went exactly to three. So this is actually hitting three times for 15 damage, and it's going to create at least three minions here. Yep. Gargolith. Oh my gosh. Here's number three. So we're going to end up with a full field. We have superpowers to boot. This is going to copy a 7 6 swimmer. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and this is going back in the gravestone, so it's like safe there. The teleportation zombie's still in the field, so if they use any removal, it's just gonna hurt even more. When we have back our bounce, like we have just, we have plays uh, for a full field. That was absolute insanity. Let's go, highlight come. Heck yeah. Uh, he's healing all the damage back. Come on, man. Come on, man. Um, so, nothing's really... Okay, we'll, we'll try to farm. We can't actually do it with this one. How do we do this here? The lightning bolt doesn't actually do anything. The only lane. Let's still go here. Yeah, it doesn't. The, the, the back air bounce doesn't really. We actually rolled a three, so bouncing this one technically would have been good. Oh, and he's getting. Oh, bye bye. So the lightning bolt will hit here. This isn't actually because of the getting both Godify and Transmogrify early. This is less than stupendous. I think we just spam tricks here. Now we do have to kill this one. So Lightning Bolt, Backyard Bounces 4. And then just beam me up in summoning. And we're not playing around Dragon at all, but we can't, so... <laughs> Imagine being able to play around Dragon. Well, Lightning Bolt the Dragon, I guess. Uh, if he had a Dragon or a Brainana, I think it would have just been played very quickly, so... It's making me feel better about this turn. <laughs> That is literally just winning next turn. Never mind. He was deciding where to put it. Whew, that hurts. He's letting the gondola hit hit here, which is really weird. I don't know what to do. I think we just let it. Please don't roll a three and a two. God damn it. Oh, okay. oh. Zamba. Zamba, drone engineer. Good enough. We take those. Only five. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Uh, we'll put this here. Well, we want to backyard bounce the the wing nut. All right, I guess we're passing. We're milled. That's fine. Uh, this just means trickster wins here. I can proc the block. Dr. Pepper. That means he has heals. <sighs> That's really rough because we can't proc the block anymore. I don't really know. Back air bouncing this just means it gets played again next turn. Our tricksters are going to cost six. <sighs> this is rough.
I guess keeping the gondola alive is maybe the, the thing here. We'll try to play a trickster. I guess we'll play one trickster at a time. We've locked the six, which is cool. That's fine. Actually, does that bring our tricksters both down to four? Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, it's guaranteed. <laughs> Never mind, block HG super, completely balanced. There's nothing you can do. It's freeze and... Uh, and it's not blow. Mog. Goat. Freeze. What's the last power? I never remember. Is it blow? No, it's weed whack. Doesn't do anything. Bye bye. Nice dragon, bro. Next time, keep it to yourself. <laughs> wow, this was the game where we got that insane gondola. He was able to just zap everything with his superpowers until we just didn't have a field left. That Gargolith was so sad. This for sure, and no, that's two, three tricks. This just makes it easier. Three tricks are just too much. I'll keep two though. There's two tricks in here. Let's go. Let's not get forget me nutted here. Thank the Lord. Uh, we actually need cards. Big time. So we're gonna burn that. Hell yeah. We could just beam me up and then do this next turn. I like it. I'm, I'm going to play this. Just trying to think the lanes. I think 2 and 3 is where we're playing. Again, just to be able to make our plays based on how the opponent blocks. So you are going to go here. Love him. Beat me up is an okay play, but I'd rather uh, hit face with the space time, start, start conjuring some extra resources. Hammer. Zad. It's okay. We're actually doing well getting past the first few turns. Not dying to a pretty strong tempo, you know, it's Guardian. Tempo hero. I'm gonna play this on five, so just be me up here. You can join the Discord with a normal sub. Just make sure you follow all the instructions. I'm not going to spend this net. Well, we probably should. I, I just want to get greedy that the gondola is going to be able to hit, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we got to start charging these tricksters. These tricksters are what's going to be the game. The gondola, it's possible, but it's just not likely. We'll probably proc the block here anyway. Uh, yep. <laughs> Did I use this just to like... I guess I'm playing Dry Gondola here, right? So I'm using this to proc the block. Okay. <clears throat> right, do you like annoying orange? No. I don't like annoying anything. I don't know why people watch stuff like that. I don't get it. Alright, it's spamming Gondola in the water. He has big removal. That means we got past this turn. Huh? Shame Rocket. More like Shame Rocket. I think the Gondola here is better to teleport in than a, even a Trickster. So I'm gonna spam a Trickster instead of a Gondola here. We'll put it... I'll put it on Heights. Put it on it's cool when this gets removed because it still did 6 damage and traded 1 for 1. Yep. I guess we just spam tricksters at him until he shuts up. It's like that's how this, this game is. <laughs> I'll do that. But, well, yeah, we have six plus two. Uh, if we play Soul Patch, we can deadly this. Oh my gosh. 
All right, trickster, trickster still kind of wins, sort of. Sort of. There we go. And throwing imp is actually really important for blocking the block. This is turn... What turn is it? It's turn nine. So we have just ten cost trickster for the win next turn. Unless he heals. He's got to heal big time. <laughs> He's using water. Guys, control water balloon. Okay, number two. And number three? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got it, boys. Yeah, I think this is guaranteed. Is there any situation where we don't proc the block and win that or get next turn? Oh, I guess he could block and heal. Oh, we don't want to get Geyser here. Oh, wait, also, if we would roll one and it threw it backwards in lane two, that would be the other situation. But he's like, eh, we'll save it. That was awkward. That was doing nothing nice. Wall Knight, more like Wall not. Uh, <laughs> well, not. I guess while well, not would be less cringe because at least it's not using like an, a medieval word, something from old English. Not. Wall night, more like wall. Wall not. Wall night. Is the double trickster thing stupid? Especially against Gra- See, against fast heroes, we can't do this. Ugh, that made it worse. Alright, let's go for like HG Super on one. Alright, I'm, I'm not counting that as a win, but I'm really happy not not facing Grass over like Grass Knuckles, who's both Guardian and also like really fast in aggro. I have a hard time dealing with that hero. Good old Humpty Dumpty. Spam with someone or not. Spike weed sector is just too slow. To access them. I think now that we have them throwing him, spamming this is okay. It just means he has two things he has to deal with this turn. And... Doesn't actually die, so we might we might really pull off this thinking cat. Depends if he has removal. <laughs> teleport imp is the way. Something tells me I'm just thinking about the other one. Deck seems to be performing well. Wow, he didn't actually get out of on us. Weird. Weird indeed. Oh, uh, this looks great. Hell yeah. Actually, well, no, we can't do that. All right. 
He's just not doing enough. Just traded a four drop for a one drop, by the way. Uh, oh. That is okay. Mm -hmm. Doing a lot of damage, and him throwing in will take the sound. Probably just bouncing this. I guess we could have teleported this in, technically. Poppies. Probably really should have teleported in so I can't react to it. Uh, we don't actually have any of our finishers. Can I make this one? That's the best case scenario in throwing into three. Just come back here. Yep. <laughs> come on, top deck pot of gold. We'll be right in the game. There's the tricks there. Alright, so we're definitely passing here. Probably just thinking gap and get this trickster charged for the 12. Quackadile's underrated. It's just like a little outclassed by Shamrocket. I wish Quackadile was better. I mean, I wish Shamrocket was worse. I think Quackadile's like... Where are we should be? Here we go. That's cool. We need a leap! We need a leap! We'll bring the teleport. Thank you, kick the power. Kick the power for 12 months. One year. Let's go. I don't really know what we do here. I guess the lightning bolt can be used next turn. Let's just prevent more damage. I suppose. Um, the sad thing is the internal is charging blocks here, so we usually don't want this trickster anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> more teleports! Why the hell not? I think we'll just do the trickster next turn now. Lightning bolt, burn teleports. Probably teleport in mustache money at this turn. Proc the block. You know the drill. You know how this goes. Should I craft Cosmic Yeti? No way. Terrible card. God damn! God dang it! This goes. <laughs> Just getting so many entering him. Feels bad. I think we'll just take the. We're not even necessarily taking it. In fact, we always throw an imp to lane 5. Yeah, so we're giving him one of these. And we burn teleports. We burn as many as possible. We're getting one back here. Yep. So usually we proc the block this turn and the trickster just wins. If we don't proc the block, then trickster usually wins. He can actually get his spidow power. Which is okay. We'll, we'll take the one in three chance. We have teleports and stuff, so we're, we're really safe. Or we can just roll one. <laughs> that works too. Honestly, we, he probably should have blocked then. This would have been guaranteed lethal for 12 damage, but instead we rolled like triple one. I guess that works. About five cards to craft. I think we have a, a command. Let's see if I still agree with my opinion from back then. 
Flame face, Triceratops, Pumpkin going viral. Yeah, I would say those are those are good for. I would put Pogo maybe as number five. Mug is six maybe. Kind of really depends though what cards you have. You know, if you can build towards a really good one, really good deck like that's, and then hit Ultimate League every single season. You know, you get a lot more cards that way. More economical. All right, so this is good against um, Beta Caratina. We'll just get rid of the Gondola. I don't really want to start with that. But that's okay. Haven't really had any games yet where we started with HG Super, have we? Maybe there was just the one. See, forget me nuts. Not scary. Because of him throwing him. Really good counter to forget me nuts. Kind of figured this out during the tournament. It's one of the better. Because even if he plays the Almighty Photosynthesizer, then it just means he's, we're spawning more imps. That is a good play, so he'll just drag this to oblivion. That is the answer. I'll just. Do that. I'll probably throw... Well, I'd love to get a 2-drop. Huh? So the environment, just wherever. Best case scenario is he plays in the environment here. This is, we're in bad shape. He has a, a lot of power for forget me nuts in the field, which is slowing, slowing us down big time. I put it on the, um, I'm throwing it, which, because we kind of, okay, let's go. We get another environment with lasers. Really, really good. It means we kill this early. Teleportation. Probably just blocking face damage is the way. Still giving that more health. Let's get laser here. Better even than the area 22. We're also conjuring something, which is cool. I'm. These teleports are free. <laughs> I think this one. Okay, these teleportations actually. I guess they all go down to zero, but it's for different reasons. That's weird. I think we burn a free teleport here, though. Yeah. I'm glad the teleportation zombie lives here. It gives us options for next turn, so it just blocks that poor damage coming in. We're really getting low in health. He's doing six to us here. We'll have six left. We've got cards. We have free teleports, and we don't actually, it's only turn 5, it seems like it's way later. We have teleportation zombie, free teleports, so we don't have to play our own brain nano, so we just automatically pass. Might just go for thinking cap. We really do need an answer to this, and thinking cap, there's chop, there's deadly. There's... I don't know. That's just about it. So, if we don't get... A summon or a minion or something that does two damage, then we automatically lose. But we'll, we'll live and die with that, or heal, or freeze. <laughs> a lot of things that go right here. So pretty sure it's just freeze. Do we let him do two damage to us here? Burn one of these free teleports. Should have teleported to us, right? I, It could be having a full block meter is, is the way here. We might well just want to remove this with the trickster too. I don't really, with 16 health and a full block, actually he's going to have an empty block winner. It's just hard to see the path to victory here. Pretty sure us having a fuller block winner and 4 health is better than 6 with an essentially empty block winner. That's really annoying because the trickster doesn't even call Triceratops in 1 anymore. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Not easy, boys. Another free teleport. 
Man, what do I do here? We do have to play around Brainana now. I, I think we're still playing around removal. This is so weird. I'm gonna go like this. Perhaps deadly this one. And then we'll have Beam Me Up or Teleport Trickster if we're desperate. For a defensive move. It's okay. Sounds just weird. Okay, and then throws to that throws to the water lane though, bro. That's not a good play. So we're definitely using you. This actually conjures a cheap cool. Here's a rocket. So the good news is is that if we do two, three, he'll be down to thirteen. Trickster doesn't quite win here. On the other hand, the Imp Throwing Imp always throws to the right, which is probably better. It means we have a full block here. We have, like, Mustache. I don't know what we're doing here. I guess we play around some Admiral Navy Bean combo next turn, so we'll cover this. I guess so. We're one off lethal with Mustache Monument Trickster in the middle lane. It's gas Giant. Turns out, we, well, the deadly conjure the, the rocket. Oh, it doesn't let me throw to the right. Okay, that's good. We, we want the full block anyway. So it's like mustache. Oh, that, there's more. Oh my. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with the mustache play to get him down to one. And we have just teleporting and chump blocking kind of for years here. So, this should be okay. Hey, day. Hey, day. Okay. Uh, we'll burn this teleport. These tricksters are beginning to look happy. This dies anyway. The trickster just wins here. Hey, if, if he blocks. There you go. All right, seven to one. <laughs> Still winning. Heck yeah. Rocketing the red stinger would have been better. Why? We wouldn't have been able to play the trickster if, if our if our guy didn't. Uh, I don't get it. Oh, but then we would have died in lane one. Okay, so what was the block meter at at that point? The space time was still gonna hit, and the octopus was gonna hit, so Mustache Trickster isn't gonna be. It's a very far stretch from, you know, it could have been lethal. I I I I think playing safe there is the way. It kind of like, almost guaranteed got him down to one. If we played this guy right into there. Uh, for the person in the chat having a hard time subscribing, just start googling how to subscribe on Twitch and stuff like that. It seems like you're, <laughs> you're asking me about a hundred questions about how this works. If you subscribe, no matter how, follow the instructions and link your thing to the Discord. If it doesn't work, Google it. You'll get more accurate answers there than here. <sighs> this is a weird time to keep tricks. I think we still are going to do it, though. It's kind of the main win condition of the deck, even though we have zero tricks. I'd love to- this is the one we want the HG Super. Heck yeah! It just means that these turn 2 plays become efficient. Look at the worst turn 1 superpower in the game going up against the best. Yeah, I'm not gonna say literally the worst, but one of the worst signatures. And yeah. Very cool indeed. He had zero, but there was this two things hitting that turn that was propping the block. As opposed to our bullseye minion hitting, that would be better. Right? I ain't tripping. Alright, this is gonna get blocked here. 
which is fine. It just means we laser next turn. This is kind of slow. I don't like it. I think here to play on freaking Violet, theoretically. That is okay. <laughs> the temporary solution. Now he's just charging our block meter for one. We're conjuring. In fact, this is just gonna... <laughs> he actually gave us a lane. It's very unlikely that we get a lane to play him throwing him here, because he usually just plays one minion and blocks space time, but that worked out marvelously. Watch him play his big, you know, HG 2-drop in front of the space time here. What could have it been that he didn't play it that turn? I don't know. We need a leap! We need a leap! Thank you, Laz, for gifting one the kebab. Thus solving all the issues. Lazarus to the rescue. Good night, friends. That's cool. It's a conjure. It's a conjureception. Just spamming your imp. <laughs> Fishy imp is so really. It might be the better one. Really toxic waste imp doesn't. It doesn't actually help us here. So yeah, we are playing this. Doesn't really matter. Actually. Uh, but if we get a one or two cost, um, that's an environment. That's playable. Thinking of getting a pet to spam in one. It doesn't actually get the buff from Cosmic Yeti, which is sad. It's just an environment. That is fine. God damn it. You're able to revive space time in. And he doesn't hit anyone. He is killing Fishy Imp, but we do get... Uh... Oh no, we only get one more Imp. <laughs> Feels bad, man. And we get regular imp. What's with the lightning reads today? We've seen as many lightning reads in today's stream than we have in like the last two months combined. Which is zero, by the way. I don't know what to do here. I mean, this is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll go for the conjure. Why not? We'll teleport in the gondola next turn. Can we actually get a minion this time? Pretty please. Okay, that's a minion. Maybe we'll teleport this one in instead. I think five cost six six shark is the way. Do you hate lightning ray? It just doesn't do enough to it's not a playable card. Looks like it's working out. Oh he got light this was his genetic amplification. Oh my gosh. It's such karma. Beta Karmatina. Okay. Guys, it's Starch Lord, watch out. It's very bad. We really have no field here. It's a sad day for all the fields. Yeah, and we're just teleporting in either Shark or Gondola. Can't tell which ones. I think if he plays something in front of that imp that's like good, we'll play the Shark, and if not, we'll go for the Gondola. I really would love him to block this imp regardless. <sighs> That's a lot of damage. He's doing 5. Jeez. It's 5, 11, 12, 13. Ugh. There's no way out of this. Turn I have such limited options. We could just play this and try to get lucky with the blocks. I don't think it's going to work. Can we not roll double threes? Oh my gosh, if you roll double threes, uh, I can't with that, man. That is some, that is, that's the whole game right there. We're probably going to lose this now to this garbage deck because of the block meter. That is such trash. It really should have set up guaranteed lethal. This should have hit, should have hit, and then brought the block here. But instead he rolls double threes, and now what do we do? It would have been six damage trickster just for the win. Now what do we do? Now what's the what's the recourse here? They'll hit us for five and then we block, I suppose. It's such garbage, man. 
That is such trash. I guess beam me up is okay. So we can shark beam me up. All right, we'll shark beam me up. That is such trash, guys. Come on, man. Plant food. So now he has to roll. If he rolls low, we're in trouble. Right. See what he has to block here. Where did he get plant food? He got that from. He conjured it from genetic amplification. This actually dies. He doesn't realize this. This is a really, really bad, really bad play. It dies to the. Um, again, this says when a plant gets hurt, it can be hurt by his own card too. Okay, so this lane does. This lane does, 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 well, this will block two, then this blocks more. He'll do four damage. He could still win here, which is insanity. We need yeah, a this leap. has to be the play. <laughs> so here's the shot. He, if he rolls a one, he wins. That's the whole game right now. That dies. He kind of goofed there. Actually. We might be in trouble anyway because of this splash. He's hitting us for four and then three. Actually, it might just be lethal for him. Because he's hitting us here and killing the shark. And then he just wins because he has a buffed... Was there anything we could have even done there to prevent that? That's insanity, guys. Oh well. Oh, we're in a 7 2 scenario. Throwing for content. <laughs> That's so sad. We'll put that in the fail count. Space Cadet, if I would have put Space Cadet in 4, then he would have procced the block in lane 3. And then he would have just won during t lane 4's attack phase. No, that definitely wasn't in the wrong spot. Alright guys, here's the last game. I don't think there was anything I could have done there. Shark instead of Gondola. Trickster lethal? His block meter would have been full, though. Again, he rolled double three, so if we hit him with Imp and then Shark, the next the next play gets blocked. Uh, you're not figuring out the block meter there, boys. That ain't how it works. We actually have to... Gosh, this is so bad. All right, this is our life. Gosh, I'm probably going to spam this on two just to start conjuring teleports, which is very sad indeed. Yeah, the Star Sword kind of dominated us. We don't really have a good answer to it in this deck, so... Give that man a rolling stone. Woulda, coulda, shoulda at this point. Uh, let's go with Space Town. To visit Scotland. <laughs> this this uh space time really increases the value of our hands a lot here. There's another one. I think we're going for two. I probably just played teleportation station here. This raptor is, you know, it's getting <laughs> I'm laughing. We should I play this environment? What am I even bouncing here? I don't know, I lost. I'm burning teleports. I hope I don't lose to the Spineapple deck. This lane's actually scary enough to play. It's only turn three. Pretty strong. Leaps! Oh, we got leaps going on. Ah. 
We, we're burning teleport anyway. Three mustache monuments. This is why I cut the fourth one. We get too many. It's a sad day for all the Zeus. Okay. It's getting. Look at this guy go. Burn teleport. Um. So yeah. I guess it's gonna be like this, and this, and burn another teleport. Okay. Plank. So yeah, we're gonna leap one of these mustache monuments. Three teleports. So it's, yeah, it's probably just teleport him throwing him in one. Because he's gonna play something there. And then leap the mustache mind into a four drop. Pretty good. Oh my gosh. This man is scary. I'm scared. Like, literally scared. What are we gonna do? I guess we have B's backyard bounces on this. That is okay. Look at the aggression. Oh, man. One of those. It's all of a sudden a leap deck. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Toxic. Good enough. Oh, she ain't this Okay, that's cool. I guess we'll go like this. And like this. He's good to me. I really hope he doesn't have a Grave Buster, or else we... Yeah, we kind of lose. <laughs> lose, Barry. Going face. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. We Extra MPs. We're still dying, big time. We get leaps though. That happens. We have to play defensively still. We're sitting on seven health. We can't risk getting a hold of one here. That's cool. That works. I don't know what we do. I guess it's just like this, and then we back here down something. I wish we could gondola. It's just overall, it's the way we lose this game. Okay, do one of these, and we hold the teleport here. We have a pot in our deck, imagine getting that. We're still at 7 full block mirror, which is where we want to be. Survey says Zomba. <laughs> full shark, good enough. One drop. It really doesn't even matter what it is, it just matters how much it costs. We get a 2 drop, yay, fun. That's that's awkward. Uh, this goes here, I guess. Because of these teleports, we're just gonna pass. It's probably like backyard bounce and then just play the trickster with no teleport because we have the zombie on the field. I'm still scared. Colonel Corn would be pretty damn good here. <sighs> Why is it always Infinity Clone Lane 5? Well, there's only five things. Right? The Swabby Infinity Clone Fishy Imp. Toxic Waste Imp. And one to be undeterred. Is there only four? Infinity Clone. Swabby. Toxic. Fishy. And that's it, right? So there's only four. One in four chance of getting Infinity Clone. 
if it, if it lands for one. Uh, looks like we won. Yay. <laughs> GG, boys. All right, the answer is yes. We got the eight and two. I'm so happy. It was mustache wax, or not pool shark things. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. That was the uh, right into the zone. That was the trickster gondola hybrid. Not only a very strong deck, but also a very fun one indeed. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's such a highlight filled stream. Definitely going on YouTube. Peace. This is dry. <laughs>